The haunted mansion was not only a product of its Imagineers' imaginations, but also one of the gothic and horrifying experiences from its time. We've already explored the movies and shows that inspired it, but literature and legends have also contributed key aspects of what the haunted mansion is now. Join us today to discover which books and stories inspired the haunted mansion here in Stories from the Mansion. We are less than 100 subscribers away from our 999 subscribers. <laughs> Show your love for the mansion and join our spirited community now. Now let's get inside the mansion, shall we? Number 1. Bluebeard The story by Perot was about a rich man called Bluebeard. Known for losing each of his brides to strange diseases, his last bride marries him feeling pity for the tragic losses he has endured. It would not take long for that bride to discover his forbidden room, where to her horror, she found out that he hid the bodies of former wives. When Bluebeard noticed the trace of blood in the key of the forbidden room, he decided to kill the new bride for knowing too much and having betrayed him. Fortunately for her, before he slaughtered her, her brother arrived and killed him. This story about a wife finding a terrible secret and being killed for it was the structure used for Captain Gore's unmade haunted mansion, with Bluebeard becoming Gore and Priscilla becoming the wife. Bluebeard was also considered in the concept art and had his own grave and even made it to Walt Disney World where he and his brides rest at the exit of the haunted mansion, making him perhaps one of the canonical previous owners or inhabitants of the Hudson River Mansion. Number 2. Great Expectations In this Victorian story by Charles Dickens, a character named Miss Havisham sits in a decayed room filled with old wedding mementos, covered in cobwebs, and even a rotting wedding cake infested with rats, while she herself, now in her last years, still dresses a worn-out wedding dress, bitterly remembering a love that never consumed. The old lady's decadent wedding memory room is a clear inspiration for the nuptial-themed attic and for Melanie's melancholic state. Number 3. Bride in a Trunk A popular legend speaks about a bride that played hide and seek during wedding day and ended up hiding inside an attic trunk where she accidentally locked herself in and died only for her decomposed body to be found by a maid years later. The story is so old and popular, it has even been featured in the famous horror story book, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. This story would inspire the creation of the first brides of the attic, and of the pop-up ghosts that sprung from trunks. Number 4. A Head on a Hat since the reappearance of the hatbox ghost whose head appears and disappears in a hatbox, we were also given a conspicuous clue about the whereabouts of Constance's ex-husband's heads. If we are to find them, we are to look at five easy-to-spot hatboxes right next to the decapitated ghost. But I've always found the head and the hatbox idea very specific. And since this idea was thought of since the 60s, where did it come from? The first and most obvious influence is a 1958 movie called The Thing That Couldn't Die. In this movie, a woman finds a live head inside a hatbox at her family's centuries-old house. This head belonged to an old English fellow who was decapitated 400 years ago. This head had the power to hypnotize anyone who looked him in the eyes. Because of the date and imagery, it is obvious that this was the influence for having a head in a hat box. The show Black Shadow specifically, a 1966 episode called The Head of Judas Zachary, 
was inspired by the 1958 movie. Having an ancient head in a box, who held powers over whom saw it, forcing those who saw it to either find its body or to commit murder. This idea in turn is based on countless stories of live heads inside boxes, including medieval saints such as Saint Denis, or Victorian murder stories, or even shrunken heads. Number 5. Edgar Allan Poe Poe's stories are the biggest influence for the mansion, from characters to small hints. The story, Premature Burial, influences the conservatory corpse. The Black Cat influences the story of a non-made character called the One-Eyed Black Cat, of whom we have already made a video, and of the graveyard arm which walls itself in. It also influenced the story of Gore being haunted by Priscilla and walling her corpse at the basement, just as in Poe's story. The Raven is a character inspired by the homonymous story by Poe and would have even uttered the Nevermore phrase just as in the story and would have been perched next to a bust, just as Poe described. Finally, the fall of House Usher and its atmosphere of a decadent house. In this story, the owner believes the house to be a live organism, where its maze and vegetation show signs of being alive, just as the haunted mansion has wallpaper and decor with organic aspect. In the end, the house collapses and the broken room cracks open and falls into the house, destroying it, just as in one of the haunted mansion early concepts previously discussed here, or as in Phantom Manor, where the house partly collapses during an earthquake. With so many Victorian stories of haunted houses and gothic families, there might be other ones we haven't discussed. Which others do you know about? Let me read them in the comment section. <laughs> this has been all for now. Rest in peace, and I'll see you all a little later. But before I leave, Thanks to all the new subscribers who have joined our spirited celebration. <laughs> we still need more. We have room for about 100 more, in fact. So join us now and uh, hurry back to see more videos. I'll see you later, then. Rest in peace. <laughs>